Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about the problems involving rational functions. Okay, so let's have our first example. Bamban National High School is preparing for its 25th founding anniversary. So the chairperson of the activity allocated 90,000 pesos. Okay? from different stakeholders to be divided among various committees of the celebration. So, dito guys, uh, we are asked to construct a function C of N which would give the amount of money each of the N numbers of committees would receive. Okay? So, if there are six committees, how much would each committee have? Okay? So, ang first step natin dito, guys, is we need to construct a function, C of N. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga given natin dito? So, dito sa ating uh, problem, so, meron tayong allocated budget na 90,000 pesos. Okay, nakita, guys? Then, sabi dyan, yung 90,000 pesos from different st stakeholders to be divided okay, among various committees of the celebration. So, ngayon, paano gagawin natin dyan? Okay, so, ibig sabihin, si 90,000 pesos is i-divide natin okay, doon sa numbers of committees. So, ang variable na gagamitin natin dito is letter N. Tama? So, ito na ngayon yung ating function C of N which would give the amount of money each of the numbers of committees would receive. Okay? Then, sabi dito, how much would each committee have if there are 6 committees? So, try natin. So, by using yung ating na-construct na function, meron tayong C of N so, ang numbers of committees daw natin is equals to 6. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon guys ng C of 6. Tama? So, that is equals to 90,000 divided by 6, yung numbers ng ating committees. So, pag dinivide natin yan, 90,000 divided by 6, that is 15,000. Tama? So, ngayon... Therefore, each committee will receive 15,000 pesos. Okay, so ito ngayon guys yung ating final answer. Nakuha guys? So let's have another example number 2. Barangay Masaya allocated a budget amounting to 100,000. Okay, so to provide relief goods for each family in the barangay due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So the amount is to be allotted equally among all the families in the barangay. So at the same time, a philanthropist wants to su supplement this budget and he allotted to additional 500 pesos to be received by each family. So, write an equation. So, ito yung pinagagawa sa atin, guys. Write an equation representing the relationship of the allotted amount per family, yun yung ating y variable, versus the total number of families, x variable, so, how much will be the amount of each relief box if there are 200 families in the barangay? Okay? So, first, uh, kailangan iset up muna natin yung ating equation. Okay? So, sabi dito, write an equation representing the relationship of the allotted amount per family, which is y variable. Okay? So, y ang gagamitin natin dito. Versus the total number of families, yung total number of families, yun yung ating x variable. 
Okay? So, ano ba yung paghahatian dito ng ating, ng ating mga families in the barangay? Meron tayong budget amounting to 100,000. Tama? So, kung i-divide to guys, sabi dito, kailangan ma-divide to equally among all the families. So, ibig sabihin, i-divide natin to guys, doon sa number of families natin sa ating barangay. Okay? So, bukod dyan sa 100,000, meron ditong philanthropist na nag-supplement ng budget. And sabi niya, he allotted an additional 500 pesos to be received by each family. So, ibig sabihin, bukod dun sa 100,000 divided by X, mag add tayo guys ng 500 pesos. Tama? So, ito na ngayon guys yung ating uh, equation. Okay? Representing the relationship of the allotted amount per family versus the total number of families. Okay, so, ang problem natin, how much will be the amount of each relief box if there are 200 families? So, ito yung ating X. Okay, so, ang X natin is equals to 200. So, solve natin. So, meron tayong Y equals 100,000 over X. So, ang X natin is 200 plus 500. Okay, so 100,000 divided by 200 is 500. Tama? Kasi makakancel yung two zeros. Then, 1,000 divided by 2, that's 500 plus 500. So, ang total natin is 1,000 pesos. Tama? So, ano ngayon yung final answer natin? So, therefore... The amount of each um, relief box to be distributed to each family worth 1,000 pesos. Nakuha guys? So, ito ngayon yung ating final answer. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paari wang mag-solve ng problems that involves uh, rational functions and rational equations. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!